So happy to see you all. My name is Kevin. I will be your presenter today. All right. Oh, man, we got a lot of people coming in. This is so exciting. All right. Those of you that are coming in, I'd love to know a couple things. Hey, let me know. Let me know where you're calling from. Find the chat module. Go down. Find that chat module. You'll see it in the bottom of Zoom. Let me know where you're calling from. Let's see what else do we want to know. We want to know how long you've been in real estate. How about those two? Um, those two are going to be sent to everyone and, and, and include everyone. Here's why. Because you might find a referral opportunity. You guys might just, somebody might need an agent in perhaps like Kevin in Austin, Texas, right? Here I am in Austin, Texas. Like my friend Kevin in Brentwood, California. All right, 2002, 15 years. Wow. Maryland, Green Bay, Michael, 17 years. Look at this. We got some referral opportunities happening. Uh, the rest of you are just going to be, I guess, secret agents, right? I guess that's what we're going to have. We're going to have uh, three. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to send all of our referrals to Michael, Maryland, uh, and Kevin, and then they're going to pass them out um, throughout so no one else gets referrals. All right. So uh, obviously you guys can hear me okay. Some of you know where to find that chat, chat module, not everybody. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. So uh, you all should see the screen where it says how to attract rock star listing agents. Listen, if you do not see that on the screen, all you got to do is tell me, let me know through that chat module. I would love to know that. Uh, my name is Kevin. Let's just start there with a quick introduction. My name is uh, W. Kevin Weber. I am the director of training. Actually, I have a few roles. Hey, Patty in Oklahoma, Tyler in Seattle. Good to see you guys. Uh, Kevin from Austin. I have a couple roles here in Austin. One is uh, the opportunity to connect with rock star agents and, and leaders like yourself. I've actually had the honor of, of helping real estate agents in their business for over 20 years. Uh, and I'm currently a practicing real estate agent here in Austin, Texas. I'm also the director of training with Brevity. And my role and my goal is always to help move users to the next level or expertise with and using our systems. We have multiple training programs, uh, webinars, resources that help our clients use Brevity at its highest level. And another uh, cool role that I have is I get the opportunity to help certain Brivity teams, people that are using our system, maximize our systems by helping them find opportunities within their database through uh, coaching, training, and, and accountability sessions. That's just one of the things that uh, we do here. And it's nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet some of you that have provided your names and, and locations. We'd love to hear from uh, the rest of you. Welcome, uh, Janet, Jenna. Jonah, Kevin, Aaron. Aaron just joined the call. Hi, Aaron. How are you? Uh, Patty uh, Ramiro. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for being here. I just want to quickly introduce the reason, uh, uh, introduce uh, Ben Kenny, the founder of Brivity. And I really want you all to understand the reason that Brivity was, was built in the first place. Brivity was built in the first place to uh, to help our technology um, keep the agents relevant. Whenever we're working with, with um, uh, clients and they always ask the question um, or they um, may question the, uh, uh, the commissions and the work that we do, we want to let our clients know what's happening all the time. We want to consistently uh, keep them informed of what's happening. So our technology helps keep you all relevant. Our technology will keep you at the forefront. And as you see, while we go through uh, this process, we're gonna help you understand how your brand and your, and your um, presence is, is always up front. Um, I am joining you. Yeah, let us know where you're, where you're joining us from. We got a few people letting us know. We'd like to know where the rest of you are are coming from. It's also important to know we don't have contracts. Okay, we don't have any contracts. We have the, well, Ben, it's important to Ben to, to know that uh, we get up every single day to win your business. That, that's what it's about. And on this slide, you're going to see a very bold statement that says the only system that guarantees success in real estate. If you do the work, 
if you follow the model, if you attend our trainings, if, if you use the systems as we train and, and show you, you will find success in brevity. We share everything that Ben Kenny uh, uses in this real estate business. And in fact, our listing presentation will be available at the end of this call. I'll have Aaron share that uh, to you all at the end of this call, or maybe even uh, perhaps during. So stick around so you can get that uh, amazing resource. So we just want you all to know that, you know, you know Ben Kenny is considered a rock star agent and he uses a uh, Brivity platform. And we're going to help you guys understand the tools that we have available to you to help you either attract rock star agents, or if you're, you're a leader of, of a team and you're trying to bring in more rock star listing agents, here's some ways that we can help you all do that. I'd love to know, uh, are you on a team? Are you a team member? Are you a team lead? Are you a listing agent? Are you um, just curious on, on what we have available? I'd love to know who you are, or what you guys are doing here. You, the the question that um, a lot of questions come up when we are talking to our clients, right? And, and in fact, if you were to Google questions asked to ask a realtor when selling a home, you get up to 6 million results, right? Some of the questions they may be asking, like, what are your credentials? How many sales did you close last year? What do you specialize in? You know, is, do you uh, work in just this neighborhood? How are you going to market my home? The, the question really that, that people are asking is, what can you do to sell my home? That, that's really what they're wanting to know. Is, what do you do? What can you do to sell my home? And, and any rock star agent, any rock star agent knows four things that are going to help a, 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 um, a home to get sold. And if we're looking at the first two, how it's priced, well, we, we know that the market is going to determine that price, how it shows. Some of that is out of our control. We can go in, we can bring in um, um, a, a showing team. We can come in and, and we, can, uh, we can have it, have it um, uh, ready, ready made for, for sale there's. That does take some work and we have to depend a lot on the client for some of that. The last two, how it's marketed and communication are entirely under our control. And in fact, when, when, um, when asked, when clients were asked, what's the most important thing that you find when, uh, when you're working with a real estate agent, what is the most important thing to you? communication always shows up at the top of the list. So we know that we can, we have a, we can take advantage of those last two by knowing what we have to do and, and having the systems and the tools available to do that. So let, let's look at some of these things that we can do for you and we can show you that we have available. We make it one, we make it simple for a buyer to find your home. When a buyer visits your website, you're going to be able to see exactly what they're looking for. You're going to, you're going to allow them to, to receive new listings. And we have an amazing tool um, called Listing Alerts. And our Listing Alerts tool is, 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 is a grand way of communicating our brand, driving people to our website, providing those listings that, that meet their criteria. We can even send them twice daily. We're not gonna go into listing alerts too much. Just know that buyers will get the seller's listings delivered to them when it meets their criteria. We also know when they're looking at the listing. We know what listings that they're looking at most often. We know if your home's been favorited. So we make it easy for the buyers to find the, the, the seller's home. Every Brevity website also has a seller's page. So we have a page specifically, specifically dedicated to, to sellers. 
And, and on this page, you're going to have multitudes of seller resources. And the lovely thing about the uh, Brivity website is that we have the ability to drag and drop different pieces of content. So not every Brivity website is going to look alike. We have multitudes of seller resources that can be brought into your uh, Brivity sellers page. One of those resources is our Brivity Home Valuation page. This is a great opportunity to promote a URL. And the URL is, is going to be something like your website forward slash home value. And if you think about a URL that is that simple, that is that, uh, that unique, we can, we can promote that URL pretty much anywhere and everywhere. That URL can be put in print. So we can share to anybody that we know is a homeowner the ability for them to find the value of their home through an email. We know that, or through, I should say, through a marketing message, through a flyer, through a, um, a, a card, even on the back of your business card, something that's in print that they can go back and, and recreate that URL on their browser. We also have the ability to make that an electronic link. So then you could send it out in a text and or an email. Your uh, Brivity websites are mobile optimized. So when you send a link from your website, or should I, should I, I should say to your website on a mobile browser, it's going to show it's going to show the proper way in that browser. It's going to give you the right view, and they'll still be able to complete those calls to action. Of course, you could also verbally use a, a URL, and that way we're able to quickly uh, let people know that they can find the value of their home if they go to this specific URL. When they complete that home address, when they fill out their home address in there and they click find out, one of two things is gonna happen. One thing that can happen is that they might say, you know what, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, well, let me back up. When they click find out, they have the ability to, they have a, a form to fill out. Well, that, that's where we get more information. Obviously, we're gonna want their first name, their last name, their email address. We're gonna want some additional uh, details. We want them to verify the information about their home. So we're asking them a little bit more. This is when they may decide to back out. They may say, you know what? I don't wanna provide that information. And the best part of, of them doing that is now we have their physical address. We capture that physical address as a no-name lead. And then we have multitudes of ways of, of connecting and communicating to that no-name lead. If they do complete the information, a few things can happen. One, we will provide them with the full information of, of what's available. We give them a price range. We give them three different sources to choose from. We give them the information that we promise them in that, in that result. We can also give them just a, 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 um, a, a, um, an, a, an average. Here's the high, here's the low, here's the middle. And it's, it's a little, uh, it, it, it's, not a, it's not a specific. And then the last thing we can do is just have a note say, thank you for your information. We will prepare the report for you shortly. So those are, those are three options that you have to place into your Brivity Home Valuation page. These pages can be duplicated. You can make multitudes of these. And in this example, we created one specifically for the city of Austin. You could do a area, um, a, um, you could do a neighborhood, a subdivision, a city, a county, you choose. Let me know if you all have any questions on the Brivity Home Valuation page or our Brivity Sellers pages. Here's one of our favorite things to talk about. We, we, we do tend to talk about our market reports kind of ad nauseum. <laughs> like we, we really... Uh, we push our market reports because we know 
This is a proven report that is going to help us communicate to everybody in our world that owns a home. Anybody in our world that is a potential seller. This tool gets a 36% open rate. And that's huge. If you think about the open rate of your typical emails, we'd like you to stop sending that go clean your gutters email. We want you to not have to send out that pie recipe as the only way of you communicating to your database. There's so many other things that are important that our sellers want, need, and desire. And one of the things that our sellers want, need, and desire is to know exactly what's happening in their market. They want to know who's selling. They want to know who is pending, and they want to know who has sold. And when I say they, I mean everybody that's on this list. Our past clients, as an industry, as an industry, our past clients are the first ones that we ignore. NAR has a consistent report that they put out that says if buyers, if sellers have been, um, uh, a buyer has been interviewed and asked, would you use your real estate agent again? Shortly after the transaction, 82% said, yes, they would. 82% said, I would absolutely use my real estate agent again shortly after the transaction. When interviewed after the sale of that home, only 15 or less, 15% uh, or less did. And that's because we as an industry do a terrible job of staying in touch. We do a terrible stop job of staying in touch because we don't know what to send them. I would imagine that any past client, even if they had just bought their home four months ago, would want to know what's happening in their market. Because every time they see a red, their, their, um, their, uh, their, uh, their, mor their mortgage payment has just paid, has just changed. I'm, I'm sorry, but the word, the word is slipping, uh, slipping me, but their, uh, their escrow has just changed, right? And it, it, everything has just changed about the, the value of their home because of those sold listings. If we're talking about our sphere, our sphere, once again, we tend to send them the turn your clocks back email. We tend to send them those uh, seasonal emails. We're doing everything we can just to remind them that we're top of mind. When in fact, we could send them a report that's letting them know exactly what's happening in their market. We have, everybody has a, a, an Aunt Martha in their life, right? That person that we know that knows everybody in the neighborhood. We try to remind Aunt Martha that we're in real estate all the time, yet every time we go to that 4th of July party, we go to that Christmas party, there's another for sale sign in another, in another one of the homes in our area. And you know, she knows everyone and th those signs are never yours. Aunt Martha is a perfect candidate because one, we care enough that we wanna let her know what's happening in the market. We can easily say, Aunt Martha, check your email. And Martha, in that email, I want you to find it, just uh, click on this, this simple link and look at what's happening in your market. And she will see a map and a graphic that looks just like this. And you're like, Aunt Martha, did you see that street right there on North State Street? It's, that's the one that's just like yours. It's right down the street from you. Do you remember when we were talking about what you would sell your home for if you could get the right price? You said it was around 500000 Look at what North State Street sold. She's like, oh, that's Janet's house. Oh, Janet's house. How did she get four eighty three? My kitchen's so much nicer than Janet's. It's always a kitchen, right, Lisa? It's always a kitchen's much nicer. Oh, no, I have a Janet on the call, too. Not your home, Janet. This is the tool that one is going to remind them that we're in real estate. It's going to give them something of value. It's going to help them see what's happening in their market. 
seller prospect to me is anybody is anybody that owns a home. Okay. Anybody that owns a home is a seller prospect to me, because if, if you ask them this question, and this is a question you can ask for 2022, make it a part of your uh, common questions. You ask any potential seller or any seller prospect is if, if what would, what price would you sell your home at today in today's market? Like what, at what price would you sell your home in today's market? Everyone has an answer. That answer just may be sitting in that market report. Then our conversation is super simple. After we have that conversation with them about the market report, because now they're interested, they want to know, well, that's when we'll come and talk to them about a CMA. We typically don't send out a CMA until after they've received the market report. The market report is a great introduction to your expertise, to your understanding of the area, to the data. Aunt Martha's seeing this report and she's like, well, would you let me know maybe what my home might be worth? That's where the CMA comes in. You all, let me know if you have any questions at all about our market reports. You all have been kind of quiet, but that's okay. I see all of you are still here, which is exciting. You all stick around. Let us know if you have any questions. We've heard a story of Ben saying it used to take him 30 minutes to an hour to get an accurate CRM. What's the longest it's taken you all to get an accurate CRM? In the past, I've used the MLS and the MLS CRM, that, that gets a little messy. And then you have 117 pages and you have to know these different codes, right? Terry says it takes them 30 minutes. It's good, okay, awesome. It's not bad. We can, we can get a CMA built in just a matter of minutes, Terry. We're gonna save you so much time you're going to want to create multitudes of, of CMAs in that 30 minutes. We do that based on what we call the 555 process of determining accurate pricing. So that, that's, how, that's what took him so long, right, is, is going through that um, uh, 555. That's, that's finding five comparable active properties, five comparable pending or off market properties and five comparable sold properties. Well, then, of course, Ben made a program based on the 555. So, this Brivity CMA transformed this CMA into a pricing tool that you can email, you can save, uh, you can even present it live. You can take it in your laptop, open it up and go through the process with them. You, if you were to go through the process with them, you could e actually choose the homes with them while sitting there because they would say, yeah, that one's like mine. That, now we know already, but let them choose those. It'll come up with a smart price. Isn't that cool? I think it's cool. I think it's, that, that is just a time saver. It gets everybody the information they want. It, it, it gives it to you in a variety of, of ways. And it comes as a part of it, cool and smooth. I like that, Lisa. That's awesome. Cool and smooth. I treat my CM, uh, Terry says, I treat my CMAs as a starting point, point not less than. Um, and given, given your overbid market, I like that. I mean, in other words, not less than a starting point. So when they get to that CMA number, that's the starting point number, not necessarily the that you're saying, not necessarily the price that you're going to say we're going to start at. It's smart. Any other questions on the CMA and the market report? That market report is, is called, and the CMA are a package of the CMA tool. Okay, it's all part of the, and you can get that included in your uh, brevity package. If you're on a team, 
of uh, two or more, the market report uh, CMA tool is included. All right, we're gonna talk a little bit more about websites and some ways that we can promote our agents, I'm sorry, our sellers listings. And, and this is important because we're talking about bringing in rock star listing agents and rock star listing agents want their own presence. Rock star listing agents want to have their name and phone number and contact information listed on their listings. And every Brivity website allows the opportunity for each agent to have their own agent subdomain. So including that home valuation page I showed you, that would be specific to that agent. And all of the other tools that I'll be showing you now will all be specific to that agent. That's what we want to use the um, agent subdomain feature so that they show at the bottom. All leads come to that age. Any, any call to action that is completed on an agent subdomain page, all those leads automatically, zoop, they, it doesn't make that sound, we had to picture for that, but it zoop, goes into that uh, contacts record. I mean, into that um, agent's uh, CRM and it, and it now shows in their, in their database. So that contact will now show uh, in that agent. And of course, all admins and owners still have visibility uh, into any leads that come into uh, come in from an agent subdomain. You guys, let me know if you have any questions on the agent subdomains. One of the very cool features we have is the ability for you to easily share your listings um, directly from your website. And these are call to action pages. We call them landing pages. Forward slash share listing landing pages. We call it forward slash share because that's what you will do at the end of, of our URL to get this feature to show up. A question came in and said, uh, from Mark said, can you make the subdomain name anything you want or is it limited to agent names? It's, you, you it, it is, um, when we first add it, it automatically will grab the agent's first name. So the question is, can I change that name? I'm not sure, Mark, I need to, need to dig a little deeper and find out precisely if that name can be changed. It absolutely would be, the subdomain, by the way, it, it would be whatever the name is, dot the team's website address. So for example, I'm the dream key team. I have Lisa on my team. So it would be Lisa dot dream key team. If that, if that helps. So the, the, the end of the URL is always the team URL, whatever that, that um, team URL is. The first name would be whatever it is dot that team URL. Mark, let me know if that does not answer your question. Great question, by the way. Love it when questions come in. So if we're talking about the forward slash share listing landing pages, for example, as, as Mark was mentioning, we have the subdomain, right? So if we have a subdomain, we would create the listing landing page on that subdomain. We could have a single, our own single listing and say, I have this listing that's available. We name that title, Great Bellingham Starter Home, with three bedrooms under 300,000, you make that title. It'll bring in a, a graphic, it'll bring in a picture. Then they can confirm the registration here through Facebook, sign up with email. If they already have an account, they just log in. Once they do that, they're now logged into your CRM. They're now on your website. They're now able to peruse and view other listings if they choose. And as I mentioned, when we first started, we're able to then track and see exactly what they're looking at. We're able to see when they are looking at properties. We're able to, to determine what time they're looking at the properties. We can see what they're wearing. We can't see what they're wearing, Darlene. I'm just kidding there, of course. 
you were able though, <laughs> when people are registering and they're viewing properties, we're able to, to capture all that. So we can tell our sellers as rockstar agents, we can tell our sellers, I have the ability to share your listing um, through a special link. And, and th this is a great way of, of capturing individuals that we may not currently have in our database. This is a great way of sharing our listings. And even if we share it to those that are a part of our database, they can simply log in and see that particular property. That's what it's about. We're calling an action to view that specific property. We even have the ability to drive someone directly to your website. If you don't want them to have to go through the registration process, we have a really cool um, forward slash MLS feature that we apply to those. Nicholas says, are we able to add content to our website such as videos? The answer is absolutely 100% yes. Nicholas, you can add all kinds of content to your website, including videos. And what I would recommend, Nicholas, since you, since you uh, went there, great, uh, great question, by the way. Um, we can add a, a, a seller's proposition video in our seller's page. For example, we want to explain to people why they would sell for us, why we are considering ourselves a rock star agent, maybe even testimonials of others that consider us as a rock star agent. That's, that's a great question. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. How many of you are currently doing open houses? Open houses are, are opening up, which is very exciting. And um, this forward slash open house registration allows us to create some really cool open house registration pages. So if we think about um, an open house registration page, we would do an open house registration page one in the open house. Okay, so <laughs> I don't know how long you, you, some of you have been in real estate a long time. I saw like 2002 and uh, 1999 and you know you know back in my day when I first started in real estate uh, we had paper and a pen and and if we were lucky we remembered the clipboard heck we were lucky we remembered the pen but we would work really hard on getting up some lines on a piece of paper some of us drew them on there some of us tried to print them with excel when we got new at that right and then we, we finally got that form and we brought it in and we had people illegibly write, like every single one of them were doctors for some reason. Like they could, we couldn't read anything that any of them were writing. And it really didn't matter. It really didn't matter because we left that piece of paper. We left that clipboard underneath the, the, the um, seat of our truck. In fact, I bet some of you have been agents for a while. Go check in the bottom uh, of your of your seat i bet you're going to find an old open house registration form go through your paperwork that you never took advantage of you never transferred that information that's one of the best ways of us capturing new leads right i mean people come into an open house for one of two reasons they come in an open house one because they're interested in a house that looks like that or maybe even that house or they're a neighbor who wants a nosy neighbor who wants to know more. Both of those are great opportunities for us to connect, especially those neighbors, because we know for a fact they're sellers. When you use an electronic form, well, then that doesn't happen. The, <laughs> we have this form that we're able to create. We choose the day and time. We put it all together and now there's a form that is electronic that we can put on a tablet, on our, on our laptop. And when they register, we might even register as they come in, but as they fill in their first name, last name, email address, and we could even ask additional information if we want to use a long form. But we get all of those details from them and boom, it hits our CRM with all of that information, with a tag of open house. Now all kinds of things can happen because just because that lead showed up as an open house lead. And we have the ability to, 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 to capture that. And I'm talking about putting it on a tablet 
But what if they had the opportunity to do it on their own device? Oh, no more icky fingers touching your tablet. Um, no need to worry about securing it because you were able to take this sign-in sheet that we created out of our marketer system and print this bad boy up, print it on photo paper if you want. I don't recommend necessarily laminating it because this is specifically for this open house, unless you're going to do it next week, but we hope our listings don't last that long. Put it on photo paper, tape it to the door, require it. We could even change the text of what this says. We can say, uh, you must sign in, masks required, put on your booties, on your footies, whatever you want to do. You can even put graphics of little footies there, masks, whatever you want to do. This is ultra powerful, and they know now what to do. QR codes were on their way out, you all, and then boop! All of a sudden, here they are. They made their they made their um, they made their uh, return. The word I was looking for earlier, ladies and gentlemen, was equity. The word was equity when I was saying their equity changes. I think I just said. Their escrow changes or something like that. Well, that one escaped me for a minute. I knew I'd think about it when I stopped thinking about it, but here you are. All right. And none of you all came in for, for help, by the way. So thanks for that. <laughs> so um, safely register using the QR code. You can also, by the way, create a virtual open house. See, sometimes we have sellers that don't want people walking through their open house we could do a virtual open house with a, a Matterport tour. Maybe you do it with a, a walkthrough video. Maybe you're so good, you get a drone to fly through the house. I'm not sure how you guys are going to present that. that. That comes at the end, and that's where we put the instructions of how they're going to get to that um, virtual open house. But we can present a virtual open house. Maybe we're on a Zoom call with them. We see them show up. It's a really cool way of, of presenting an open house. You could even do this a couple hours before your actual open house if you choose. But this is a great way of, of promoting and, and, and being a rock star agent to those um, that are luxury uh, clients. This is a, a, a perfect solution. Say, listen, I have a way of people not even walking through the home and we can still provide that open house experience. And as I mentioned, just like with forward slash share, the agent subdomain would apply to forward slash open house. All of those open house leads would now go to that agent. Let me know if you all have any questions about forward slash open house, forward slash share, or any of the other places we've been so far. Oh, this is one of my favorite things to ever talk about. Do you all have active listings now? Yes, I'm going to say yes. You all shake your heads yes, because you're rock star agents. Gosh, I hope you have active listings now. Uh, do you want more leads from those listings? This, in my opinion, is such a huge seller value proposition. Such a huge seller value proposition. This is a way of picking up buyers for yourself in your database. Yet we can explain to our sellers that we have the opportunity for you to virtually stand in front of their home and grab anybody that drives or walks by and say, give me your cell phone number right now. If you wanna see the inside of this home, like I could grab them and that, that's what Quickly can do. Quickly can provide the information about your home, okay, about, about your specific, can show them price, pictures, everything that they need directly from the MLS, by the way, okay, that with just having a sign in front of your home. We have a text message lead generation tool that's called Quickly. I'm going to walk you all through the process of how quickly works. A customer's driving by, they're walking by, they're biking by, and they see a sign. And that sign says, 
Do you want to see the current pictures, the price, the, the um, more information about this home? All you have to do is text this word to 59559. Everybody gets the number 59559. All right, you all with me so far? Let me know if you need me to repeat that, and I will. But you can obviously see it on the sign. The sign is telling the visitor what to do. So hopefully I don't have to explain it. The sign should be clearly telling you what to do. So they do that, okay? I type in the word um, uh, uh, Dream Key Homes to 59559. Boom, enter. Now, quickly is going to be um, do a GPS location. Do, 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 do. Again, we have pay extra for that. So it's not gonna make that sound. Don't look for that. It's gonna go and it's gonna target exactly where that person is standing. It's gonna target exactly where that person is standing, find out their location. And then what happens next? The customer gets a text back. Oop. And that text back says, hey, I saw that you texted this number. Do you want to see a specific house or do you want to see the closest? So I want to see the closest because I'm standing right here in front of it. And they tap on that, they tap on that link. They can even put a specific street number in if there's another one that they choose. When they do that, either the, the one that they chose or the closest will show up. Then, and then of course, you've got more calls to action in there. They wanna click view nearby listings or they click on view just nearby listings by that link. They're be gonna be given a list of the five closest properties for sale within that area. Yours being one of them. So if we think about it, like if we think about the fact that if all I have to do is text this word to this number and I can get a link that says, do you want to view all of the closest properties? Well, then that link can pretty much go anywhere and everywhere as well. Like that could go in the back of your business card. That could be a sign writer that can have its own unique purpose going to um, and, and, and capturing buyer opportunities plus sellers that see this type of technology are going to be impressed as well. So we want to be sure they know that we have this amazing tool that allows you to stay in, in, in um, it allows them to find out exactly the value of their home without having to go to a website, without having to refill the flyers box. Do y'all remember flyers box? Oh man, flyers box are like so 2018. I mean, who does that? Do y'all still have flyer boxes anymore? You have to go refill them. They're always empty, right? They get stolen. People make paper airplanes out of them because of that really great, great paper. No more flyer boxes. Use quickly. Have a big quickly sign, uh, and and have an equal size sign. That and then and um, like your um, for sale sign. Capture that eye. You guys have any questions about quickly? Let me know. You can even market events. You can capture more sellers with events. If you have a specific seller's event, then you can use a quickly keyword. That's a different way of using quickly. And that keyword would drive a visitor directly to a landing page. Could be your seller's page or a link within your seller's page. It could be your home valuation page what we could we could drive someone to our home valuation page with a quickly code we're going to show you guys a place that does that just on its own let me know if you have any questions about quickly because we're going to dive into brevity marketer one of the most powerful listing tools in my opinion that we have Brevity Marketer originally started out as a postcard campaign tool, but it has grown into so much more than that. And, and 
if you have a uh, when you use Brevity Marketer, all of your listings will be pulled in from the MLS. Those are both active and sold listings are going to be pulled in from the MLS and they'll display on your own dashboard. So from there, you can choose, do I want to create an ad, a postcard campaign? Do I want to create flyers, door hangers? Do I want to make this a social media post? All of these are options with your own listings, and there's so much more. First, let's look at, let's look at leveraging your listings with your um, postcards with the auto-generated postcards. These postcards are clear. You have different sizes you can choose from. We have different calls to action. They will automatically put in the graphics for you. And then what we'll do with these cards is first thing we want to do is determine after we determine the, the, the design of our just listed or our just sold postcards. Then we want to target our audience. If it's a just listed listing, we'll get just listed options. If it's a just sold uh, um, listing, we'll get just uh, sold options. But when we're targeting our audience, we can determine what type of target do we want to use? See that we could choose, we could let the system automatically choose it for us. It uses an algorithm and it finds a group of properties for us. You'll notice that we're, we're not doing every single property. It's looking for a specific amount of properties that match the criteria using that algorithm. Another way we could do it is we could draw it out ourselves using a polygon map. When we do that, we'll actually see the destinations. So we'll know exactly where it's being sent. Or maybe we have an export. Maybe we have an export of all of the, the people that uh, most recently um, have viewed our home valuation page. And we wanna be sure they get a, a Brevity Marketer campaign. And this will be for any campaign, not just necessarily or just listen, just sold any campaign we can send out. I would say they don't, not any campaign can be sent out automatically because there's no data to follow out, follow, but we can send from a CSV file any campaign. This makes it easy for you to target your audience. And then I was, as I was mentioning, we have different calls to action within the Brevity Marketer cards. You choose which type of call to action you want. The first one or one of them is going to be the quickly code. So you have quickly, you text that keyword to 59559. That keyword can go wherever you want it to go. It can go to a, to a destination or it can even, if you want to see what, um, uh, maybe it'll say, do you see what homes are in your area. And they put in that, see if they put in that keyword where they're standing and they view closest listings, it's going to show them the homes that are in their area. You all see that magic. And then down here, the next one's going to be a unique URL. You, you, we didn't name this URL. This URL could be anything. This can go to your home valuation page. This can go to your seller's page. This can go to your video, like my friend Nicholas wanted to do. This can actually go directly to that video page, Nicholas, if you want to find out more on how we serve sellers. Boom, that URL. You put in whatever URL is, is, is existing. I say put the video on your website, put that URL in there, it will shorten it for you and that will be unique. Here's what the best part is though. When they use that link, we tie that to whoever received this card. What? Yes, that is true. We tie it to whoever received this card. So take advantage of these cards because this is what's gonna help you to 
uniquely capture each individual. And then we have the ability for you to connect with your sphere using these different Brivity Marketer options. Brivity Marketer allows us not only to create campaigns, as I said, we can do a flyer through our print media. We can create digital ads or social media ads. We can do paid ads or we can do ads on our own. We have the ability for you to create some cool social media auto-generated advertising. So it creates the graphic for you. You can then take that graphic, go into your uh, Facebook uh, marketing and, and, and apply that. You could put it in your, I, I shouldn't say Facebook marketing, you could apply it to your um, uh, own Facebook business page. So you can quickly create this digital media. You can use it in your emails. You can use it in your social media communications. Now, I would stay away from sending it, sending any of these cards through your own Facebook, um, Facebook um, advertising. We highly recommend using Brivity Marketer as your, uh, to create ads and post them to either uh, Facebook or Instagram. See, when we use Brivity, one, we're able to drive them to our calls to action wherever we want. Two, we're able to have that contact automatically show up in our database. This is going to create the help create the contact for you. This is going to help them stay engaged, and this is going to help. Um, this is going to help you push that message. Like in this example, this is a home valuation advertising. This example, this is a, a multi-listing ad campaign. We have multiple listings on here. And every single one of our campaigns has dozens of options in there. I would say that if you were to do your um, Facebook advertising using this graphics and you go into Facebook to do that, I'd consider you as a FISBO. You would, if you allow our team to do the advertising for you, you just simply tell us what you want it to look like by editing the advertising, then we're gonna target the best audiences. You'll know exactly what you're spending and what you're spending it on. Take advantage of letting us do the advertising by creating your ads. We have the ability for your teams to not have to spend that time recreating that information. Let us do it for you. We also have what we call retargeting. So retargeting is going to go out, and these are, these are paid advertisings um, as uh, leads that we have available. Retargeting is just an amazing system because it allows us to find people that have currently been on your website, kind of like you would with a listing alert. It's going to look and see what properties have recently been viewed and perused on. We follow them around on Facebook, and then we start to pump them the listings that match their criteria. These ads are just gonna really help you guys take action and, and, and get uh, the right people connected at the right time. Take advantage of the Facebook ad retargeting ads. These are just incredible. Remarketing is a little bit different than retargeting. Remarketing will um, show people that are currently in your database, it will show them uh, targeted ads. So people have visited your CRM. Think about it this way. They visited your CRM. So they're, they're in, they've been there, they visited you before. Now they're starting to get your advertising showing up in all of the places that they visit. And they're gonna see you as one, as a local expert 
because they're going to continue to see your your brand showing up. It's going to show you as um, as being the top of mind. Okay, Mario, we'll get you that. Um, let me see if my friend, yes, my friend Aaron is still there. Aaron, do me a favor, if you don't mind, would you please put the um, listing presentation in for everyone? There it is, but boom, look at that before I even had to ask. Thank you so much. It keeps you top of mind. That's one of the most important things, right? We work every single day at reminding people we're in real estate. Every single day, we're trying to remind people real estate, and we do that a lot with the wrong message. We know what we want them to see. We know what we want to say, but just the message is, is, is drowned out by what we, what we provide to them, the go clean your gutters email, the turn your clock backs. The, that's going to keep us top of mind for about eight seconds. That's how long we have an attention span. So we want to consistently be showing up. Now it becomes a um, it becomes something that they're familiar with. The more familiar they are with you, the more they are willing to trust you, and they will continue to revisit, and they will more often provide you with the contact information. We have 26% of our customers returning just because of the result of remarketing. Why? Well, because we keep showing up. We keep popping up. We keep becoming top of mind. Edson, this will be recorded. I do believe so. Um, Aaron will let us know for sure if that's the case. As you all have seen throughout this entire presentation, it is all about your brand. We put your brand first. And you'll see that throughout all of these options and opportunities, your brand is demonstrated, it's displayed. Take advantage of this. I'd love to see you all continue to be rock star agents using the Brivity platform. And here is the, um, the package information for you guys. If you all are interested in finding out more about Brivity, because we would love for you to be a part of this, a part of this package, just text it. You guys ready for this? You're gonna text, right? You're gonna text platform to 59559. So I'm gonna type that in here, platform to 59559. Tell them Kevin sent you. I wanna thank you all for being a part of today's presentation. Aaron, thank you very much for your help and your support in today's session. I'm gonna give you guys just a few more moments to ask any additional questions that you might have. Rockstars who stuck around, yep, thank you. They're, you guys will receive the recording of the webinar and a copy of the presentation. And we look forward to seeing you guys there. There's the platform. Any other questions before I let you go? Questions going once? Questions going twice? Hey, even if you ask now, I'll be nice. All right, thank you, rock stars, rock star training leaders. Thanks, everybody. We look forward to seeing you all next time. Bye-bye.